I tell my grandchildren all the stories of growing up as a young boy of uh, our parents, how they came to this country and why they came and how difficult it was for them at the time. They came with the idea to make a better life for themselves and their family. Were they successful? I say, just look around you now and see, yes, they were successful. Not that they experienced it themselves, but their children and grandchildren surely have. I was born in the 1940s, so I grew up through the 40s and 50s on the lower terrace. This was our old neighborhood. This is the lower terrace and the upper terrace. This is where I lived, right in this corner right here, this building here. This is West Genesee Street. We lived on the fourth floor of a tenement building. It was a family structure. My cousins lived across the hall from us. My grandmother and grandfather lived on the third floor. My cousin and my uncle and my aunt lived on the second floor. We had no hot water, no bathtub, or a furnace. We grew up in the shadows of St. Anthony, less than a block away. My mother enrolled me in St. Anthony School in first grade, and I became an altar boy. I graduated from St. Anthony School. I uh, was married from St. Anthony's. This is our 50th anniversary. This is our 50th anniversary. The pictures at St. Anthony's. At St. Anthony's. And we baptized all our children at St. Anthony's. They provided a social place for the neighborhood. It was a big part of our growing up. My grandfather was a sulfur miner in Italy, and uh, his father was a sulfur miner. And uh, that was a terrible occupation. The sulfur mines in Sicily were the closest thing to hell that anybody could be in. So I can imagine why they wanted to leave. My dad was born in 1897 in uh, the province of Agrigento, a little small town called Bernardo. When he was three years old, 1900, his dad left the family, came to the United States. He settled in Buffalo at Canal Street. Other people from his town came to Canal Street. So that was his connection. They worked in the candy factories, migrant labor work. He eventually saved enough money, my grandfather, to send for the family. It took him about six years. That meant my dad didn't see his father from the time he was three years old until he was nine. Myself, my generation, we are the last generation that can relate to those immigrants that came to this country in the early 1900s. The immigrants coming in now, they have the same ambition in their lives. They're coming in from Africa, the Congo, Uganda, the Puerto Ricans that have been misplaced because of the hurricanes and the earthquake. They are coming here, settling here in Buffalo, and coming in with nothing. So we could relate to that. In 2005, I created a, a two-page newsletter. We had a little Christmas fund, so to speak, about $200 that we used to help the needing of our community. And at Christmas time, my wife, who was the principal of the St. Margaret School, I said, do you have anybody that can maybe could uh, use a little help at Christmas? She says, yeah, I have a family that's, they're not working, he's lost his job, and you can use that money to buy a few toys for the kids, which we did. Well, since then, that two-page newsletter has expanded to where it's a 40-page professional magazine that goes out to 600 subscribers. And that Christmas fund that generated $200 in 2005, this past year generated over $28,000. We vet them, we go out and visit them, find out what their needs are. If it's a stove or refrigerator, they get it. Furniture, scholarship to, to help them get through school. And we help them. If it's beds for them and their children, they'll have them. That money is used for that. Yeah. 
we took him shopping for clothes, getting ready for the winter. And I knew he was struggling, really, with, what, uh, with his income, trying to get an income. And I looked at him, and as we were shopping, and I could see his kids picking things out, and I told him, I said, you did the right thing. I know you're struggling, but just look, your children will speak English. They will get a good education, and there's a great chance they'll, they'll have a good job. You did the right thing. When I go to St. Anthony's now, and I go to Mass, and, my, and I look around the church, it just brings back a lot of memories to me from those days. Not for only my family, but all the families that did come here back in the early 1900s. They came with nothing. They had nothing really to rely on but their hard work and just an opportunity to make a better life for themselves, in which they did. Mille grazie per tutti che hai fatto per me. Thank you all for what you've done for me. Thank you.